<coughs> All right. Let's take a little break. All right. I'm taking a lavender here. I'm kind of going down with the waterfall, changing the temperature from a warm to a cool. All right. Use this lavender for that because it's nice, cool. Yeah, spread that down. Right here, there's a stream. Feather these little marks in them. You just kind of go over them with your finger and uh, just kind of filter that, soften that out into it. down here it hits this hits the water the little pond that's formed down here so down here I want to kind of more of a horizontal smearing it but then here it's more of a vertical <clears throat> You gotta be to leave some of that dark in there because that gives it that nice contrast for that color there to sit like that. I'm putting that right up into the um, the warmer highlights up there. Okay, and then um, I could take a stump even and even create visual effects with that. more of that down here it gets really misty and just kind of spreads out all right the water kind of creates this waves and kind of spreads out gets all misty Oops, water spray spraying up build up down in here. Down here I'm doing more of a smudging of a circular motion like this, trying to indicate some water mist, some spray, you know, coming up from this waterfall here. So I'm trying to do a like a circular type. Okay. 
the rest of it, you want to kind of drag it down. I'm just using this little lavender here. more pressure kind of get some texture going a little bit more pigment down thicker application to really build out this fall here create that misty vapor water just kind of crashing up Right here, there's going to be a, a little bit of a, or just crashes right on that surface. There's going to be a lot of movement right there. Okay, that's going to be just kind of taking the thumb <coughs> like this and just kind of rubbing around in circles. Take a look back here. I like it. I like, <clears throat> I like how it's going. <clears throat> now, if I want to go a little lighter, I'm gonna take that. Um, this is a light gray. It's a little dirty. Um, here, I'll clean it off here. So, a bit nice clean. You can see it's just a light gray. It has a little bit of a blue tint. To it. It's like cooler, the cooler gray. Okay, I use it up here. Um, I think, <clears throat> let's clean my hands here. I think I'm going to add a little bit more here and kind of bring up a little bit more of this crashing of the water here. know if it's gonna lay on top I might try to make oh it's if I press in I can get some I can get some down on it so I might need to go to a softer version like a neo pastel to get 
but uh, yeah, that seems to be I seem to be able to get some marks into it. Okay, so yeah, you just give your waterfall dimension, basically. Got some dark lights, <clears throat> make sure there's some cooler colors here. Okay, get the idea. And then um, <clears throat> up top is just this lemon or ash kind of gray, which has a lot of the yellow kind of a warmth to it. This is a Mungio. A silver gray um, here is basically what this is. But it leans warm, very warm, as you can tell. So yeah, I see how the light is coming. You can see. So it catches that light, you know, that strong light that's coming down. Kind of then transitions to a cool. <clears throat> light kind of filters. So, anyway. Something like that. <clears throat> kind of like holding it like a horizontal ear and just kind of pressing up.
try to get like some dancing, bouncing water, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Actually, some green in the water. It's just really dark down here, so it's hard to see some of the colors, but I can see hints of green. <clears throat> I need to go darker. Right here. It's very dark and down in that area, even though you hear it. It's kind of <clears throat> going over some areas, finding some dark spots I need to touch up on. <clears throat> Spread that out. I'll go back over here with some more water. I just want to get some more darks in here on this side. And up here. stump I can get a finer edge usually nice just a uh, more defined line
So I'm taking some of the dark hair up, up this side and onto the side of the stump and I'm transferring over into where I want it <clears throat> on the main waterfall because I need a little bit more contrast in some areas. So it's a cool little trick. <clears throat> Just spread that around. Yeah, that sounds real, real soft. It's easy to just manipulate and move it around and change it up. Right, that's a better little contrast there, isn't it? Kind of need that dark in there to kind of really um, <clears throat> get those contrasts going. They're really attractive to have these darks in here. So these areas here are essentially kind of my darkest darks, okay? And then this is now my middle dark, and then I have my lighter values in the back. So everything has really just been about values. Just darks and light, and I just keep going with it until I get the right, the right amount, you know? We've got to have some juicy darks, and painting ain't going to work without some juicy darks, that is for sure. Okay, I'm going to clean my hands off, and we're going to come back in here with some green, and start highlighting some of these cliffs here. <clears throat> Let's see, so I was using this. Okay. You can kind of create an indication of like moss or algae or something like that growing. <clears throat> I don't want to get any green into the waterfall. I've got to be careful not to transfer green there. Yeah, definitely on this side also, just kind of textured in, smudge it around a little. <clears throat> See it coming down. If you want, you can make a little indications of plants by just kind of making little, little marks like that. Put a mark in, smudge it around. Let's try to see what that looks like. How does that feel? I think it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna switch to a um, different kind of green. This is a Neo Pastel. Got a little bit more of a blue. I got turquoise almost. You know, but I like it for kind of a shaded area. A different shade of green <clears throat> pops a little bit more. And 
Maybe these are a bunch of ferns or something right there. And then there's a really light area here. That's gonna come in right about here. Over here too, there's a bunch of plants and ferns that kinda grow abundantly. bring in a little bit warmer green. I just want to see what this looks like. Yeah, there we go. This is a pine. <clears throat> I like it. I call it like a pine green because it kind of, it's kind of, it's a warm, it's a warm green. Right here. Just hitting a little warmer. So right here. And even you know, even drag some of the green out over like the plants are overhanging the cliff, you know. Still see that grain there, it's uh, really strong. So I'm trying to smudge it so it's not so noticeable. I don't, I like it here, but on the side, I want to kind of keep it not so noticeable there. <clears throat> See which one of these. I think this one will sit up better. Yeah. Strong light right here. Different temperatures of green right around that strong light.
Right. You see how that light just, just pops right there. <clears throat> okay, now down here, there's also a strong dragging up try to create an indication of like plants and things growing here Foliage gets real strong here. This is actually a brighter mark. random dragging around and smearing and creating different kind of marks creates an indication of just a bunch of different kinds of foliage and stuff just okay and then you take a lighter one and you can go lighter indicate a little bit stronger light in some parts here and you can kind of always smudge that back if you don't like it This is starting to get into the details of it, but I'm just kind of going there with it. So, I have this, you know. I still need to work on this back part, but. Liking that, liking these sharp color contrasts. Really working out. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of a um, warmth over here with this pink. I just want to see what this looks like with this pink hair. Okay. I think I actually like it in the background. I'm gonna clean my hands. I'm gonna work on this background area. I got a bunch of green and I don't want to transfer that too much up there, so I'm gonna clean up. Because I just saw something with that pink that I think I'm gonna incorporate now. Make sure I'm still recording. Okay, we're still going. Clean up here a little bit. And then it's this pink. Now it's the cray paws here. So I'm back to now cray paws, even though I was just working on a neo pastel and already sends down here. But up in here, it's pretty, not a lot of layers up here, so I can still actually manipulate this with the cray paws. 
they're coming in with this pink. And I think that's going to add a nice effect with these greens here right next to it. Kind of a warmth, light, atmospheric light about it. area with that pink. And some parts you can even actually leave it a little bit more pronounced. Here and here. Stronger. Take a look. I'm gonna spread this one out to the side. We'll take a look at it. Just kind of see how that changed it. <clears throat> kind of warmed that up back there. Yeah, definitely warm that up. Okay. Keep working this waterfall back here. Clean the stick off a little more and see if I can get a little bit more. Bring that out just a little bit more for us. Vertical marks. Bring out this back waterfall that's coming down. I'm going to take then a lighter, that light gray, it's, like, it's called a light gray, it means a little blue, and this is a, um, this is a Moon Geo, yes, this is a Moon Geo, Let's see if I can get some lighter marks on this and kind of bring it a little bit more focus, but not too much.
just broke off and putting some pressure into it and the stick just kind of broke on me. But sometimes you can use the broken edge and actually get some more color down. It's interesting how that works, but something that works sometimes. You just break that edge off and you can use that to get some more color down if it's not. See, just like that. Keep working some marks in. There we go. Just kind of build that up back there. Remember, I can cool it down, kind of push it back with this. Yeah, I'm just playing around. I get lost here. You know, I'm just kind of like, hmm. He looks pretty decent. Time to gotta take back and take a look here. All right. Now I'm gonna bring in, um, this is a white. I want uh, a brighter area right here. A little bit more bright. 